Welcome back to In Goal Magazine's video gear review sessions. Today we're going to take a look at the blockers and gloves that come as part of the all new Warrior Ritual line designed by Pete Smith. Time to go blockers. Now we're, we're not going to throw down and start tossing them here because we all know who'd win that scrap, I think. But two blockers, they look pretty identical. If you look a little closer, these are not the same blockers. You have two options with the new Warrior Ritual line in terms of your blockers, and they are different. The one on my hand right now is the Custom Pro, okay? And you're going to see right away, no bindings. Again, keeping in the theme of the, of the pad, totally bindingless design. The, th the idea here, and we've seen it with other companies as well, starting to pick up on this, is that by removing that binding around the outer edge, that's more blocking space. In other words, you maximize your blocking space this way. So there's the binding list, and we'll see David here has the, um, the Ritual SE Custom, or the Custom SE, and you can see a more traditional look with the binding around the outer edge. Both full top end pro level type products, just the difference in the name to highlight the difference in the features. A couple other things that are different between these two, and, and it's going to be hard to see, but if you turn them over, the hand position is different. Now the hand position in the one on my hand, the Custom Pro, is moved a little further up. So if, if David puts it in his hand and twists it, you can kind of see where my hand is lower on your screen, but further up the blocking surface. In other words, more of the blocker is below my fingers in this model compared to the SE. The hand sits really high up on the board, so it gives you more reach and more extension. I also find that in the back, the wrist cuff really opens. So it's, if you're looking for a really active hand and an active blocker and the idea of kind of being out like this and having that ability to hold it up like that, I like this blocker. Now other people tried it and the hand position was different enough that it didn't feel natural. And for them, you've got the, you've got the custom SE. Custom SE, the hand position, this is more of a standardized hand position. Um, basically a traditional hand position. It's still got you know, some extra features that allow you to go paddle down and still be flush. Uh, but this one has a lot more room in it than, you know, a lot more room in the front of the board in the Pro model than, than in the SE model. Now, some of the similarities. The palm. Basically, if you're a player, Warrior is famous for their gloves and how they feel. Same feel here with the blocker. It has seams built into the palm among the dual layers of material in order to help it close better and also give it increased durability. For me, a lot of the feel came down to the, uh, the dual material in the palm. The first time I saw this glove and was told that this, uh, this dark gray material is for dampening vibrations as well in your stick, and I thought, oh gosh, that thing's going to be way too thick, way too stiff, and it's going to feel terrible. But this is like wearing a, a pair of leather dress gloves almost. It's so soft. Here's a feature on the, on the blocker that I think I like, and I think a lot of people are going to like. The thumb. Again, we talk about breaks and seams. There is a break in this thumb, and watch how the protection moves with the thumb. Most companies, it's a solid board. Sometimes it's connected to the inner side. Sometimes it's all one piece. With this one, there's movement. You can see the hinge and the seam. What that does is that makes sure that your protection, and you can see it, it's three-layered here. You've got, the, you've got two, two outer layers and then the thumb itself. That protection moves with the thumb, so there's never, it doesn't create a gap. If it didn't move and stayed, you'd create a gap that pucks can get into. So in addition to not creating a gap, it creates great feel because you have that freedom of movement. You really do feel, let's face it, your blocker's not just for making saves, it's for holding the stick and when you're passing the puck. And there is a really great feel to this blocker. And part of that is the ability to move that thumb, something I haven't seen in any other products. Gloves. Two models again. Ritual Custom Pro, the Ritual Custom SE. We can hold them up, David. Two different brake options in the palm, two different protection options in the palm. It's going to be a decision that's largely based on personal feel, what you're used to, what, where your comfort level is with your past gloves, and, and, and what kind of a brake you like to have in your glove, what kind of a feel you like to have in your glove. Um, those are the differences. Similarities, triple T. You can see the triple T web catching area. Um, what this does is, quite frankly, holds on to pucks. One of the deepest pockets we've both worked with as well. And a puck gets in there, it's just vacuumed up like a black hole. It's not coming out. Yeah, no, I, I was really impressed in terms of both the way it closed out of the box. I mean, these are gloves that had never been worn before we got them. It really is like butter right out of the box. And the Triple T seems to do a really good job of just holding on to pucks. Never had a stinger in it. I think they've done a good job of combining the ability to close it out of the box and feel without 
compromising your protection. The best feature of this glove in our minds is this in the back. This is an open cuff. We've talked about open hands and, and glove positioning, forward glove positioning, fingers up glove positioning, however you want to call it. The idea is forward gloves presenting a big target. We've all seen Henrik Lundqvist hold that glove up. We've probably all tried it. The difference is quite often it can lead to fatigue in the arms and fatigue in the wrist because you're fighting against the back of the glove to hold it. So what Warrior's done is they've opened up the cuff. Again, using proper breaks and seams and there's still protection there, they've opened up the back of the cuff. And that makes it really easy to pop this thing open right in the face of a shooter and present this giant target that shooters can't see net behind. I agree, Kevin. I think it's a little bit more than just the cuff, though. Um, whether it's the palm padding or exactly the angle they've constructed the glove at, it seems to sit naturally at, a, at an angle on your hand. So as your arm is out at an angle, it naturally wants to present itself um, flush to the shooter. So really, in a very relaxed way, your glove is wide open. Take a look at this. If you're in your stance and this glove, you're presenting this glove like this, but this is how, if it was straight off your arm, it would look like this. What looks bigger, this or that? How much more space, this or that? More receptive, you're perpendicular to the puck's trajectory, the puck's coming off the ice. I mean, pucks don't come from up top. They don't come from the side, they come from straight down on the ice. Perpendicular tra trajectory, you're creating the most blocking surface if you're able to hold it out like this. Puck's coming up, you're square to it. It's just such a big open face. And the beauty is, we've played full games with this. There's no fatigue in the arm holding it like this for a game. I try and hold my old glove like this. The problem is it gets tiring because you're fighting against that back of the glove all the time. With this one, there's no fight because of the open cuff. And it really, again, just instead of, instead of like this, you're like that. And look at how open that is.